you to a viewer for this suggestion. The viewer is my mom. To post our favorite recipe each week. <clears throat> it's a good idea. Because then it gets us trying new things and new things are crucial. New things are scary. But they're awesome! This week's recipe is not a new thing. It's a tried and true old faithful. You and Saul totally mm. love it, right? So good. Her own bespoke tuna salad. My own bespoke tuna salad. Check it out. Start with quinoa. One cup of quinoa to two cups of water. Put it in a rice cooker, add a little bouillon or chicken broth. Stir like this. Then add chopped things. Green onion, carrot, red pepper, celery, rutabaga, just cause, red onion, cilantro, and dill. And voila. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna add two cups of quinoa to all those chopped up veggies and three cans of flaked light tuna. Then we're gonna add a cup of mayo. Ooh, delicious. Last but not least is my favorite secret ingredient, roasted garlic and peppers. Mmm! This is the finishing touch for every tuna salad. All that's left is to mix it all together and call it done. Now it's time for a taste test, and I know just the guy. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Mmm. 11 half cup servings is what this produces. Each half cup serving is 240 calories. So for dinner tonight, we had tuna melts, delicious, with a big ass green salad. Find a link to the recipe in the description notes. We were hungry. We knew it was gonna be a while before we were home. And we deliberated. We discussed the green salad we could have when we got home with some chicken salad on top. We thought about the fruits and vegetables we could eat. We thought about it. We discussed it. In the end, my stomach won. So here's the big question. Is healthy food more satisfying to junk food aholics like us than crappy food? The verdict is in. We've been eating healthy and we just binged on shitey fast food. It was like high-end fast food considering it's white spot. <laughs> so how did we feel after? I felt like crap. It, I felt like crap. It was just not satisfying It was all. not satisfying. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. Nope. Well, it happened. <laughs> Kev worked his hiney off for what, a good solid couple weeks? Getting, yeah, our, easy. getting our motorcycle ready to go. But my favorite thing to do on the bike is putts. Not go super fast down the highway where it gets like, kind of rattle your brains, but like the little putting part. We both like that. We both like yeah. um, going through the back roads, just going slow and just checking everything out. There's so much to see back Oh my there. goodness. We are gonna have the best freaking yeah. summer. And we'll probably use it to uh, go to a few hiking sites. Anyway, we're excited. The bike's on the road. I was literally holding the GoPro up like with one arm while the wind raged against me to get you this footage. <laughs> so I hope you likey. Finally get to get out on the bike and we are so excited.
I feel at the end of every video we should say thank you to all our viewers because thank you viewers thank, thank you. you even if you are our friends and family <laughs> it helps it, a lot it does it keeps us motivated and it gives us a reason to post a video and then it gives us a reason to create content to post in a video so you guys are what is keeping us going when we are skinny monkeys it's gonna be you yeah. you're gonna take all the credit for that and if you have any suggestions or recommendations do leave them in the comments we will do our very best I mean even if it's something crazy like camp doing a handstand or something I don't Ooh, know I used to be able to do that there you go Peace out, people. Thanks for your support. We really appreciate it. We love you all. Thank you. Geese actually will hiss at you. They're not afraid of anything. They walk along the highway and they don't even flinch. They just sort of look at the cars coming along and say, I dare you. So watch out for geese in Canada. Uh, 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 uh.